All right, let's get this virtuous mission started. How'd y'all like that, man? About 30 good minutes of cutscene. This is Metal Gear Solid, so it's to be expected of this game, man. This is this is like a movie that you can interact with. But uh, I will be emphasizing the storyline, because Metal Gear Solid series, in my opinion, is all about the storyline. But, uh, yeah, I won't be skipping any storylines or codecs, so if you got a problem with that, I don't know what I can tell you. It's just the way I'm going to do this walkthrough, playthrough, whatever. Alright, and so we're here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get us something to eat. Because this is a survival mission, and we need some snacks. So we're going to go put this thing... I forgot how to play this game. That's right. Uh, this is a lot... The uh, controls for this is a lot different from Metal Gear Solid 4, which I'm really used to playing, and MGO. What are you doing, Snake? i got to get used to this again. Uh, put that damn crocodile to sleep. You sleeping, son? Now let's get some knife. I'm gonna stab you up. Uh, uh, uh. Give me that meat. I want some crocodile meat because I'm hungry. Give me that crocodile meat. Damn it. Give me your crocodile meat, fool. Uh, uh, uh. Any day now. Alright, it's not working. I got some bug juice. I'm just gonna stab you up. I'm gonna stab you up. Uh oh. Huh? Nope. Nothing's over here. Get away. Get away from the damn crocodile. In case you can't tell, my, uh, my. <laughs> my Metal Gear Solid 3 skills have diminished. I haven't played this game since, uh, what? I don't know. A couple of years now. Sleep fool. And I am. Ah! Damn crocodile bit my ass. And he smacked me with his damn tail. Bastard. I'm getting your meat. We are, I am not leaving here until I get your damn meat. So let me just stab you up and call it a day. No. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep, goddammit. I'm getting your damn meat. There we go, finally. Got me some crocodile meat. And what you, what you see me doing, going prone and getting back up and growing prone. Oh my god, there's too many damn crocodiles over here. So we got two on that island, one over there and one in the grass. We're going to go this way. Oh shit, there's two over there. Let's put those two to sleep. And I'm wasting my bullets on these damn animals. They probably don't give a damn about me being here, but better uh, be safe than sorry. Or eaten by a damn crocodile. So, fucking bird scaring the shit out of me. So, this is the. Oh god, get away from this damn crocodile. Let's not wake his big ass up. And uh, we got some more suppressors for the mark, uh, the tranquilized gun. And let's get out of here. Let's move on to the next part. Then we got us uh, some some. Uh, let's go to our backpack and organize what we got. We got our food, the Indian gobbles, uh, alligator. What do we got here? We got our survival knife and just a bunch of uh, calorie mates. We don't need anything there. We've got our fake death pill. We need that cigar, binoculars, motion detector, active sonar, bug juice. We'll put the bug juice in. And let's uh, play with our camo a little bit. This is the part about uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 is blending in with the surroundings. So we're going to put our woodland face camo on. And can we get anything? Yeah, we can get our leaf camo on. Uh, yeah, we are blending in. Let's get back to the mission. Alright. So now we are on that Jimmyuchi G North. My Russian is really 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 bad <laughs> so don't expect too much of it from me Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers they're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov AK-47s and grenades. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. We can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. 
The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The Uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the Face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Alright, so, yeah, you just got the inside on that. Let's get into this log. There's some goodies in here. We got some bug juice. We'll be able to use that to keep the bees and stuff away from us. And, uh, I'm not very used to Metal Gear Solid 3. I'm really used to Metal Gear Solid 4. We I can totally see you. I got me a trophy. And we got to put this dude to sleep. Go to sleep, fool. Alright. So, the way I'm trying to say is, I'm really used to Metal Gear Solid 4. Let's drag. Whoop, you didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. Hey, Madam Snake. Put him to sleep. Oh, yep. There he goes. Now he's done. Alright. So, move him, Snake. Alright, you're gonna see me messing up for the first couple of times in this uh in this walkthrough as I try to get used to the controls again. Try to carry this motherfucker. There we go. Let's get him out of the the get him out of here. Get him out of plain sight. Hide him in the grass. And steal his goodies. We got some uh tranquilizer bullets. We got this guy over here. Let's get him out of plain sight. But uh, what I was trying to say before is I'm really used to Metal Gear Solid 4. It's the Metal Gear Solid that I started on, and it's the Metal Gear Solid that I played the most, and it's the, the uh, controls that I'm used to the most. We are full on our Mark 22 bullets, but that'll be resolved pretty quickly. Because we're going to snap this fool's neck. I feel in the mood for a little CQC. As soon as he turns around, we're just going to sneak up on him and just snap his damn neck. But uh, Metal Gear Solid was the first Metal Gear Solid that I've ever played. So I'm used to that controls. And uh, we're going to get you. No. No, you didn't see nothing. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, throw you on the floor. Uh, uh, just jab you up. Kick your ass. The hell are you sleeping, son? And now we're just going to leave you here and get the hell out of here. But uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 was my first Metal Gear Solid that I ever played. I wasn't a big Metal Gear I wasn't a fan of Metal Gear Solid until the the uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 came out. My buddy, he's a big Metal Gear Solid fan. And uh, he he bought Metal Gear Solid when he didn't even have a PS3 to play on my PS3. And he kind of got me into Metal Gear Solid and I started to play all the others after that. But we got this guy looking like a fool. We got us a beehive. Wonder what we can do with that. Look at devilish grin on Snake's face. Dude is evil. So we gonna play a little trick on Mr. Uh, Russian security guard over here. With those bees. I would CQC him up. But uh, let's take out our trank. And drop this beehive on his head. Huh? What's that? The bees is coming for your ass, man. What? Where the bees at? Did I fuck that up? There's nothing here. Yep, there's nothing here except me. I'm gonna sneak up on huh? you and seek you. No. Now talk. I'm gonna slice you up. The I'm real bad with the controls. I don't, honestly don't know what all the controls are in this game. And the best thing about Metal Gear Solid is their security guards. So I got me. A Close shave trophy for slicing that dude's neck wide open. Put your ass to sleep. 
And you sleeping. Alright, let's get across this bridge. We're gonna fuck you over. We're gonna take you for a ride. Get out of here. You flying off the damn bridge. <laughs> you too, fool. You ain't waking up again. Bye. Are you gone? Oh shit, I'm gone. What the hell? Get up there, snake. You almost fell off. Get across a Ooh, you don't see me. I'm sneaky. I'm not here. Go, go what are you doing? Go prone, snake. Hopefully he doesn't see you. Blend in. This is what I love about Metal Gear Solid guards. They are fucking blind. Look at them. I'm just sneak up on. Them. And then seek you see you. That's what I'm talking about. And it just slice his neck open. You dead, son. Let's make sure we hide your body in the grass. Look at the blood on all over his damn face. And after we get those goodies. Alright, so we got some more bullets. And we got some mushrooms over here. Give me those damn mushrooms. And uh, let's move on to the next area. Rasavit. Or Rasvet. There's no A in between the ass and the vet. <laughs> Alright, right up on top of where we should be finding Sokolov. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Alright, so we're right in front of the place where we can uh, get Sokolov. Let's put this fool to sleep real quick. We got him just standing there looking at the damn grass. And... Whoop, you sleeping. Go to sleep. It's nap time, fool. Go to sleep. You got hit with a trank, man. There you go, nap time. Nothing wrong with a little bit of nap time every now and then. We got this guy off in the distance. We are gonna put one in the back of his dome. Whoop. Go on. Nap time. Ain't nothing happen, man. Don't look around. Go to sleep. Bye. There right, you go. And, uh, alright, it's clear this way. Now, uh, well, a big part of this game is stealth and, uh, being non lethal. Look at that big ass snake in the grass. You see that? But, uh, it's kind of not the way I do it, man. I, I tend to get caught a l very often. Let me get those damn trash grenades. We'll need those later on. And I'm going to take this damn snake for my own. Because I'm hungry and I want to snack on the snake. So go to sleep, snake. You're going to be a tasty after dinner snack later on in this game. But uh, how many other people? We got this one guy over here. Oh, let me try to use my equipment. Can I keep it? Okay, so I got my motion detector. It's, got, it's running on batteries. Let's see if I can be real stealthy. Knock this dude out. And nap time. Who's that? What? What's going on? Nothing. Nothing happened. How did I smacked him? I hit him right in the back of the head. Ah, damn it! You're gonna get your damn neck sliced open the fuck out of here. I then popped him in the back of the head with the uh, what you call it, with the trank, and he just turned around and spotted me instantly, and forgetting me spotted. 
You gonna get stabbed up, son. Fuck out of here. You dead. Oh wait, no wait. Which one is sleeping? You sleeping? You the sleepy one, right? You dead then. Bastard got me spotted. Alright, so we should be able to get in here to meet Sokolov. And that's one example of me not being too good at stealth. But I do I am gonna get the job done. What's this? We got uh medicine. Let's get into Sokolov. He's in this room right here. 